it's Jessie V. And as you can tell by the title of today's video, we're going to be continuing our creepy crayon series. Today we're going to be talking about the orange crayon. And guys, that means we only have like, what, two crayon colors left? That is crazy. But I can't wait for you guys to hear this story. It might be my favorite one yet. Before I jump right into this video though, I just want to mention that today's video is sponsored by Storington Hall. And guys, I have had so much fun playing this game. This is a free to play puzzle game that is available on iOS and Android. The game invites players to explore an old mansion and uncover the tales within its walls. This game is set in the 19th century, so you must navigate an age of aristocracy, complete with breathtaking balls, stylish soirees, and treacherous intrigues. This tells a romantic story of one noble green family that inherited an old mansion. And you play as the youngest daughter, Jane, as she uncovers a story filled with romance, humor, intrigue, fascinating characters, plot twists, and you have to solve these really exciting puzzles to help you find out the main story of Jane. What I love about this game is that you can decorate the house and the garden. You basically have your own mansion that you can do anything you want to. There are dozens of rooms, each of which needs to be restored and furnished to your liking. So this game is just so customizable, which I love. I've always been super into interior design, and this game allows me to be creative with that. You could host these majestic balls, get dressed up. There's a bunch of different costumes and dresses that you can choose from. You can also play this game with friends, which is really cool. You just invite them from Facebook and you can tackle all of these puzzles and games together. So I just know that you guys will love this game. So if you would like to download Storington Hall, all you have to do is use the QR code that you see on the screen to download this game and receive an awesome bonus, which is infinite lives for six hours. Or you can go ahead and click the link in my description and please comment down below which level that you're on. And thank you so much Storington Hall for sponsoring today's video. All right guys, so now I'm going to get into the creepypasta about the orange crayon. This story is called Girl with Orange Eyes. This story once again came from one of my subscribers. Her name is Julie. She gave me permission to tell this story today and she said that when she was really little, she had an imaginary friend. And this friend she remembers specifically having these very bright orange eyes. She said she never gave this friend a name, but she said she remembers her being a little girl that was completely gray, almost as if she had just walked out of a black and white movie, and the only thing with color was her orange eyes that always glowed so brightly, you could literally see her coming from miles away. Her eyes were almost like orange flashlights. Now, she wouldn't see this imaginary friend all of the time, as you might think. She would never be at Julie's home or school or neighborhood. She would only see her when she was camping. In fact, she remembers the very first time she saw the girl with orange eyes. She had gone camping with her mom and dad and sister one weekend like they always did. They would try to go every single weekend in the summer. They just really loved the outdoors and they always chose the campsite and they chose the same campsite every time because it was next to this beautiful river. But on this specific trip, it was raining constantly. So they had to spend most of their time inside of their tents. And one night when it was particularly stormy, the girl with orange eyes made her appearance. Julie's dad had only kept one lantern on during the night in case anyone had to use the washrooms. He didn't want anyone to trip over anything in the dark. So Julie could always see that faint lantern light glowing through her tent. Well, suddenly on this particular night, that lantern just went out. Julie thought that maybe it had been knocked over by the wind or something. And just before she got up to go and wake up her dad, she saw these two small orange lights appear outside of the tent. She tried to think logically that maybe they were fireflies or lights from a car from a campsite across the road. But then they began to move closer and closer to the tent until she saw this handprint press against the fabric. She was so spooked that her body felt completely frozen. The only thing she could do was gasp and the small sound she made seemed to frighten away whatever was standing on the other side of the tent. The days following it happened again and again and Julie eventually gathered the courage to walk outside the tent the next time she saw those two orange lights. Sure enough she saw the little gray girl with glowing orange eyes just standing in the dark waving slowly at her and from that day forward she actually became a welcomed sight. Whenever Julie was camping she almost 
almost hope to see her, but this little girl would never ever speak. So Julie began to draw her with crayons and of course the only color she would use on the page was orange. One day she even brought that little girl one of her drawings to keep. And then the next day Julie found a picture of herself taped to her tent which she thought was really cute. They were basically drawing each other which I love. Julie says that she drew this little girl for years, always making the focus her bright orange eyes. Until one day the campsite was torn down to be turned into a shopping complex and Julie was so upset and thought that she would never ever see her friend again. And two years ago she went to visit this new shopping mall and saw that the area they used to have their tent was covered by a new parking lot. And right in the spot where Julie would always see this little girl was a bright orange crayon just broken on the concrete. And that's how this story ends. I feel like this was finally a story with sort of a friendly spirit if you will. I love that they were friends and it's so sad that this campsite was torn down but it's almost like this little girl left that crayon there to tell Julie she was still around. Oh, it's making me kind of emotional. Okay I have one more story to tell you. It has nothing to do with crayons but it has a lot to do with orange which is why it's in this video. This is called the orange perfume. This story is about a family that that moved into a new house. It was a single mother with three kids and she worked from home every day as a graphic designer. She loved her brand new home office. It had these giant windows that looked out into a beautiful field. And after working there every day for a couple weeks, she noticed that whenever she would open the windows in her office, there would be this scent of oranges coming in from outside. It smelled so delightful and almost became this comforting fragrance while she did her work during the day. Well, that happy feeling drastically changed one day when she ran into her neighbor on a walk. The neighbor asked her how she was enjoying her new house, and of course she said that she loved it. But the neighbor then told her that the house had belonged to her dear friend Cynthia, who she missed dearly. Apparently she had passed away five years earlier. So the mother asked if she had passed in the house because they hadn't been informed by their real estate agent. But the neighbor said she had been out in the garden on a hot day and had just collapsed on the ground. She said that she was a friend of everyone in the town and they were always so fond of her orange perfume. And that's how that one ends. So clearly the spirit of this lady is still around the house, just outside of it, in the gardens, in the fields, and you know she's there when you start to smell oranges. So yeah, this is also like not a really scary one. It's sort of like a comforting one because it is a really like nice smell, I guess. But anyways though guys, that is the end of today today's video. Comment down below which crayon you want me to do next. We really don't have many options. I think we have black, white, and then maybe we can do like gold and silver. I think that's it, right? Turquoise maybe? Comment down below and if you ever have a crayon story you want to tell me, definitely send me a DM on Instagram. And yeah, don't forget if you would like to download the Storington Hall app, I have linked it down below. But I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!